case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in a case that revolved around the intricate machinations of illegal gambling and money laundering the convictions of Don Ford and Sandra Hutchins Ford stand as testament to the judiciary's grip on white-collar crime. However, in a twist, the broad nature of the search warrant used on Ford's property resulted in the revocation of Ford's tax conviction, unsettling the narrative of unchecked criminal prowess. Initially, the pair were charged with operating an illicit gambling establishment and money laundering. The saga unfolded when a search of Ford's property, including a bingo hall, revealed his trespasses. Astonishingly, the same search turned the tides in Ford's favor, albeit temporarily. The search warrant was deemed overly broad and unreasonable, violating his Fourth Amendment rights. As a result, Ford's tax conviction was rescinded. Despite this glimmer of victory, the court sent a clear message. White-collar crime will not be swept under the rug. Dismissing Ford's motion for a new trial on grounds of mental incompetence, the court made it clear that Ford was deemed competent. The convictions for gambling and money laundering, comprehensive in their detail, were upheld against both Ford and Hutchins. In another fascinating twist, Ford's rescinded tax conviction called for a complete resentencing ordered by the court. This was necessitated by the effect the reverse tax conviction would have on his criminal history category. His plea for a fresh trial was outrightly rejected. The case of Hutchins didn't diverge from this path. Her conviction for her role in aiding and abetting the illicit activities was upheld. The shadow of the overturned tax conviction of her co-accused did not grace her case. And so, the tale of United States v. Ford leaves us pondering the might of the judiciary and the nuances of the justice system. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSD.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.